we're going to be looking at VP models. So just a quick description. They are made of tightly compacted prisms that conform to geological boundaries. And these allow styles of inversions and forward modeling in a more geologically driven way. Now, uh, one way to import that would be to go to file, import, VP models. I find sometimes the easiest way is to just drag and drop it from your file explorer like that. So you, it created a VP imports folder and it's got this VP model as well as the points with the response. You can tell by the name Mount Dor Local that this data is from Mount Dor, Queensland, Australia. And we'll look at this VP model in the information tab. You'll see it's telling us its type VP model, how many cells are in it, and the XYZ extents and range of your data. In the metadata area, you'll see a bunch of information that could maybe be useful to you, like the base of the model elevation, enclosing half space elevation, etc. I'll turn off the points for a second just to focus on this model and I'll make this a different color. And I'll turn on the grid. So now if you select each of these cells, you'll see that these cells are really more like prisms that, that conform to these geological boundaries. And uh, just exploring the visual parameters a little bit more, you'll see there's a filter basement thickness. You can unselect that. This is because VP basements typically go down to 25 kilometers. So you can hide that at any given depth. You can also add a Z section and change its depth, for example, negative 5,000. You can also make ISO values, for example, FASI's one ISO values. So now you're seeing all the cells that correspond to this specific unit. And that's a, that's a VP model. So now we can also look at the points that got imported along with it. So these points have a have background data that's from a half space or from a regional model. They've also got some calculated response as well as observed data. And that all together would be how to visualize, how to import and visualize your VP models in Geoscience Analyst.